why did you decide to write this book um, at this very young age? Thank you. You're very, she's very young, guys. Uh, moderately young. Uh, mo yes. Moderately young. <laughs> <laughs> Everything she does is moderate. <laughs> um, I actually didn't write. I didn't decide to write the book at all. I have to say that Penguin, my publishers, oh. came to me and they said, uh, "Would you be interested? We know you like to read a yeah. lot." And I didn't quite make the connection because I was like, well, yes, I do like reading, but that doesn't mean that I know how to write a book. And they said, oh, well, you've been to Oxford, so presumably you can string a yeah. sentence together. Um, <laughs> and I said, yes, I have written a couple of columns before and uh, essays, but to write 40, 50,000 words is a huge task. Yeah. Um, and what I said was, let me write an introduction. I would like it to be non-fiction because um, I honestly don't have the imagination for creative fiction. And I, th I felt that maybe there's certain things about my life that I could draw from that might be humorous. You know, it's interesting to be me, to belong to this family, to be an actor, uh, to be at this stage of my life, to have had the experiences that I've had, be it education or travel or love or all of that. And maybe I can put something together. So I did, and I shared it with some members of my family and some friends. Uh, and if you know my... my Family and those friends are not the kind of people who go va va beta. Okay. You know, there's, <laughs> it, there's lots of critical, usually constructive feedback, and it was more or less encouraging. And that's why I decided to go ahead and write the rest of the 39,000 words. Yeah. <laughs>